Happy Nessa 1111 channel, where we are committed to happiness, connectedness, and being you authentically and unapologetically. So, this is Let's Talk Tuesday, and for anyone who watched me on Monday, yes, I've got the same dress on, and that's because I'm going to go ahead and record some of my weekly videos um, on the same day. So, Mental Health Motivation Monday was about our thoughts, right? Because what I mentioned is, and let me look at the time, yeah. So no matter if you are a seasoned, lifetime um, person who's been committed to mental health professionally or personally, or whether you're someone new who's really trying to figure out, okay, how can I be consistently happy? How can I feel good most days? How, despite all the craziness of the world, that's that's where we're. That's what we want. We want to know that we are the masters of our mind, irregardless of a pandemic, irregardless of all the trauma that happens, that happened in your past, or present day challenges that are happening in your personal life, okay? Um, so, with Mental Health Motivation Monday, we talked about that foundation of thoughts. We talked about the data of the fact that we have 60 to 90,000 thoughts every single day, and a lot of them are playing on repeat. So what we talked about is the importance of knowing what are you thinking? So that's step one. What are you thinking? Monitor those thoughts. Step two is replacing a negative thought or many negative thoughts with a positive one, whether you believe that positive thought or not. The reason for that is the data shows, the research shows it's easier to replace a negative thought with a positive one compared to just suppressing your negativity, okay? So that's a kind of recap of Mental Health Motivation Monday. So now what I'm going to do on this Let's Talk Tuesday is give you some honesty about my life. I'll talk about um, a personal example, personal examples of how I started my day with positivity versus negativity and how it can spiral. So, so when it comes to negative, um, let's just give the example, the classic example of like something unexpected happens. That's not the end of the world, but in that moment you don't feel too good about it, for example the car breaking down right so i have <laughs> my car i've had one specific car i love her to death her name is olivia for 11 years now going on 12. and i've been stuck on the side of the road with her quite a bit and so in this one particular example this day i remember on i remember just being so upset that i got a flat tire and the goal is to make these videos short and sweet and so i'm not going to elaborate on uh, too much of the details, but just long story short, I didn't wake up with gratitude or anything positive or with any intention. Because I talked about that in the first video, Mental Health Motivation Monday as well. You got to wake up and start your day with some level of intention and positivity, regardless of how you feel. So if you wake up depressed or if you wake up um, pissed about something or sad about something, you got to try to fake it until you make it. You got to trick your mind into positivity if you're not feeling well. So, anyways, that given day, I didn't do that. Um, and then I get a flat tire and to make a long story short, I just was complaining about anything and everything the entire day. I blew something so minor out of proportion. I had the money to fix the tire. Of course, the money was going to be allocated towards other th things and bills. So it didn't feel good to have to take a couple hundred bucks and, you know, get the car towed and, um, get the tire taken care of. But that was a day where I took a very insignificant situation and blew it out of proportion and just ruined my day. And then even, I believe that was a case where it trickled over to the next day, because that's the thing. Once you build momentum, either towards the negative or the positive, energy tends to flow that way. And so you can take one negative experience and you can hold it in that moment. You can hold it, you can have the car break down or have a tire or whatever happen, and you can just be frustrated for a few minutes or for an hour and then get over it and then go back to having a um, good day. Or go back to having a good week. But if you do like me and you just complain all day about finances, I didn't have the money set aside for this tire, or you know, complain about the inconvenience, you know, what changed in your day? What wasn't I able to do that day? I cannot remember. But I'm sure I wasn't able to get certain things done given that the car had broke down. Who did I have the inconvenience to come and help me out? Um, so instead of thinking and marinating on all that negativity, what you can do, which I've done in other scenarios where the car broke down just recently, the other car that we have, um, is I said, thank you, not for the car breaking down, but that it happened in a way that was safe because um, the car stopped accelerating out of nowhere and we kind of had some signs that it was going to do that. This is the other car um, and it could have stopped accelerating at a 
time on the highway or on the road that would have been very inconvenient and could have led to an accident, but it stopped um, accelerating and completely shut down right around the corner from the house in a very convenient location where we were able to just pull off to the side and just let the car sit. And so because of that situation where I went from, okay, just let me focus on something that I can be grateful for. I'm going to be grateful for the fact that we're safe because me and the kids were in the car. We're safe. You know, my husband, Jay, can come help me out. Let me just not get triggered right now. We'll talk about triggers in another video, but let me not trigger or allow this trigger to propel me in the wrong direction. Let me go ahead and focus on the fact that we're alive and we're safe. Point blank, focus on that, right? Because of that, instead of having a day or a week, like in the other scenario where the, where the tire broke down, instead of having a whole day or a whole week or whatever, where I'm spiraling towards negativity, finding things in life to complain about, instead, I spiral towards positivity. Um, you know, I, I, was, I was focused on we're safe, the car can be fixed, you know, um, and all that. Yeah, just focus on gratitude. Now, this is a lot easier said than done, of course. And it comes with practice. And I don't want to minimize the fact that depression, anxiety, stress, other mental health challenges are real. And I get that. So this is just talking about a little piece of the puzzle. OK, there's going to be a lot of pieces that we're going to have to put together. And I don't want to minimize how challenging it can be. But I can tell you, no matter how big the challenge is, the thoughts, the negative or the positive thoughts are a big component to how heavy something is going to feel or how light it feels. OK. So that's my let, that's my let, what time is it? That is my let's talk to the example. When something unexpected happens, you have a choice. It doesn't always feel like it because sometimes our emotions are immediate and intense, but you do have a choice to respond with negative or positive. Negative is here for a reason. So you do need to allow yourself to vent and to cuss or do whatever allows you to release that emotion um, for a certain time period. But that's the challenge with our mental health. When you allow something that's meant to be negative for a moment or a couple hours, and then you allow it to trickle and to build momentum, that's when stress leads to anxiety. That's when anxiety can lead to depression and other things. And so, yeah, I'm not going to give any more examples. I have tons of more examples of negative versus positive and how I can self-sabotage or how I can just really um, allow goodness to happen. But what we're going to do as we wrap up this video on Let's Talk Tuesday is I'm going to present you all with some questions to think about. So if you're someone who likes a journal, then pull out your journal. Or if you want to just reflect in your mind, I want you to think about a time where you had a very similar scenario. For example, you know, my example was the car breaking down in some form or fashion. Um, and actually, I'll say the first example I gave where I was super negative, it was just a tire, a flat tire, bro. And on my second example, it was the car, I hate to say it out loud, but the transmission, and that's a very expensive and major issue. So, although example two, with the transmission, a very serious and expensive issue, even though it was a bigger issue, I didn't make it a bigger issue. I focused on all the things that I was grateful for. We had just moved into this house that we love, and so I focused on that. Okay, hey, maybe we got some car stuff going on, but we just moved into this house. I'm so grateful for the home, for our safety. That allowed me to move through that experience without getting taken out um, and spiraling, you know? So that's my example. So what is your example? Whether you want to journal about this or think about it out loud or comment below, what is an example of where you had a similar scenario, but when you use negative thoughts, you ended up ruining your whole day and or attracting more negativity to your day. I've had that, that happen too. I'll have to think about a different example for another video. When you complain about one thing, it's like something worse happens. And sometimes something worse, even after that happens. Um, and then on the flip side of that, what's an example of where something similar happened? And then you just chose to let go and not be so attached to the situation. And how did your day end up? You know, um, yeah. So reflect on that down below in the comment section. Pull out your journal if you're more comfortable with that. Some other things that I can post to you all um, is you can journal or comment below about your pattern. What is your morning routine? Do you have one? And if not, what are some things that you want to start doing in the morning? Do you want to start waking up and just verbally, like I do, saying thank you over and over and over to get your mind primed? 
do you want to pull out your journal or write down, you know, your dreams, something positive, or write down something you're grateful for? Do you want to wake up and put on some positive music within the first, like I said, few moments of waking up? Do you want to wake up and, you know, exercise within the first few minutes of waking up? Just do some push-ups or do some squats or, I mean, there's, there's a gazillion different things we can talk about, but do you have a morning routine? What is your morning routine? What do you want your morning routine to be? Comment down below. Um, those things as well. And again, I'm going to be here engaging with you all. Um, what else can I post? I think those two are good. Reflect on an experience where you can remember how you either went negative or positive with a situation and or comment down below and reflect on your morning routine and share ideas. Please, please share your morning routine experience or ideas with other people. Um, okay. So I've been chatting enough. It's been about 11 minutes. So I'm going to stop it here. I'm going to say thank you. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below. That um, is a great way for me to know what type of content you all want when we're engaged and we build this community. I want this really to be a community of connection. Um, so comment down below. Like the video and share. All these different things are ways to support fellow YouTubers such as myself. And let me know. If you're someone who has a channel, we can support each other in different ways. Let me know down below as well. Okay? So remember, on this channel, we are committed to happiness, connectedness. That's why you comment down below. Let's start chatting and being you authentically. Be yourself and you will live a good life. Okay? All right. Bye, guys. Talk to you later.